Double XL 2021, the freshman list. The freshman cover is right around the corner. Last year it actually came out late, came out in August. Usually, usually comes out in June. The 10th spot, Vodin, Vodin, which is actually rigged. It came out on the Double XL website, I think less than a week ago. I have not checked that out yet, but I, I did see a video on it. But um, I'm excited for the list. I like to predict the list every year. This is my prediction. I've got 10 people for the list. The last couple years they had, I think in 2018 they had nine. They had like 12 the year after that in 2019. And last year I think that they had 11, something like that. Um, I've got 10 this year though. It's supposed to be 10, so I've got 10 right here. 10 that I think will make it. I'll start off with some that I think will be locks to make it. There's no way they don't. The first four, if I, I think there's no way they don't make it. Unless for some reason one or two of them turn it down because they're too big for the list. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I do music reviews, uh, hip-hop content primarily. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It'd be greatly appreciated. And drop a like. It would be greatly appreciated. Getting right into the list, the first one, which I would say is definitely a lock, would be the Kid Leroy. I think that his label will definitely get him on here unless they think he's too big or he turns it down because he's too big. His numbers are there. He's got plenty of mainstream hits. The deluxe version, well, Savage version of um, F Love, which dropped back in November, which is still pulling in great, great numbers and charting pretty high. Um, the seven extra songs on there were or have done great. Without You is a hit. Um, I know it's been on the radio. It's charting high on Billboard. That one's a hit. Tragic is getting a, a lot of streams with, with Young Boy Never Broke Again. And then there's a few more on there that I know are doing pretty good as well. He's got Go with the Kid Leroy, or not the Kid Leroy, Juice World. Uh, he's got Tell Me Why. Um, I like Wrong with, with Lil Mosey, but I think he will make it. I, I don't see why he'd turn it down. I think it, it can only benefit him. Um, I, and I think his label will definitely try and get him on there. The next one, Ian Dior. He definitely should have been on there last year or, or even the year before. The point of Double XL is to get rappers on here before they blow up to predict the next wave of stars. The Kid Leroy already blew up, but he'll probably still be on here every year now. There's there's artists on here that are that are already huge. They already have huge singles. Um, but Ian Dior, he doesn't have one huge song, but he has many songs that have a good amount of buzz. Prospect with Lil Baby. Pretty Girls off of his EP last year. Holding On, which is a single he dropped last year. He is on Mood with 24K Golden. That would be the big single, even though it's not his song. But that song was number one for, I think, seven or eight weeks. But that would be his big single, even though it's not his song. He's got Strings with Gunna off of his Industry Plant album a year and a half ago. Emotions, with which he originally blew up off of a couple of years ago. Sick and Tired with Machine Gun Kelly and Travis Barker. Plenty of songs that, that have done good. Just no huge song yet, but I think he is destined to break out into the mainstream. And as a as a pop artist, really soon as a hip-hop, pop, melodic artist, I could see him turning it down for being too big because of mood, because um, that song was, too, was very, very big. Or maybe be, because... He's not going for the rap sound. Maybe he's going for more of a pop sound or a uh, hip hop slash pop sound. I, I could I could see that as well. The next one on here, I don't see how they make it. They have recently blown up. Um, Pooh Shiesty, I don't see how Pooh Shiesty doesn't make it. He's got a uh, Back in Blood, which is a huge song with Lil Durk. It's done very 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 well. Charted very very high on Billboard. I think like top 15 on Billboard, it's done very well. His album sold, I think, like 60K, which is a lot for someone who is pretty new. And he's definitely a freshman because he just released his first project. So I'd like to see someone like this on here. He's really, he's truly a freshman. He's also got Neighbors with Big 30, Box of Churches with 21 Savage. A few more decent sized songs. I know his album has been streaming well for a while now. But Pooh I see, I don't see how he's not on here, especially being on Gucci Mane's label. I can see Gucci Mane getting him on here. The next one, this person has a a big song uh, that recently blew up this year in 2021, which I really, really enjoy. It's Coyle Ray with no, uh, well, Coyle Ray. That song being, though, No More Parties. She's also got the remix with Lil Durk. No other really big song. She actually, Well, she actually just dropped um, a song with, with Pooh Shiesty. I can't remember the name of it, but she dropped that song with him. I think that one is doing pretty well. And then 
um, No More Parties, and the remix with Lil Durk. I think she's got a promising future. I think she should be on here. Maybe could have been on here last year or the year before. Um, for sure could have been on last year instead of maybe uh, Chica, but I think Chica's a pretty good rapper, though. But Koi Larray, I think she she's a lock for the list um, at this point. The next artist I don't know a lot about is Flo Millie. I don't know a lot about her. Her I have not heard much from her. I've heard a few verses from her, maybe a song or two. Um, I know she's a good rapper. I've heard that she's a very good rapper, and I've heard people say that she should have been on it last year. She's not huge, but I think she's got a promising future. I, I've heard she's a good rapper, so Flo Millie, I can picture her being on here. So, so Those are the first four or five that I think will be locks to get on the list. At least the first four, the Kid Leroy, Indy, or Pooh Shiesty, and Koi Ray, maybe Flo Millie as well. Going into the last five, which I think could be interchangeable with some of the honorable mentions I, I will list later in the video. But the sixth artist I have on here is Tusi. Tusi, like a lot of the other artists on here, doesn't have one big song. He has plenty of songs that are doing good, but not great. I always got Love Cycle with Summer Walker, Poetic Pain, and then a few more as well. I listened to his album last year. I think it was good, not great. Could have, I think it could have been better. I think it was his first or second album, or second or third, so I think he's fairly new. Um, I just heard of him last year, but he dropped the album. I think it was good, not great, definitely could have been better, but there's definitely a lot of potential with Tusi. I think he should be on the list. Number seven, ESTG. Now, I don't like ESTG. Um, I know he just got signed to um, Yo Gotti's record label, and he's got two big features. He's also from the um, same place as Jack Harlow, so I think he's fr I'm pretty sure he's friends with Jack Harlow because cause I know a lot of people first heard of him off of the song Route 66 from Jack Harlow's album. That's where I first heard him. Um, I think he was okay. That verse was all right. He's also got the song Reels It Gets um, with Lil Baby. It's, it's Lil Baby's song. I think that song might have been just released to promote ESTG. Um, I think... Um, there might have been a deal with the, with the record labels to get ESTG on a, on a song with a big artist, being Lil Baby. I think that's just a loose single for Lil Baby, just to, to get ESTG's name out there. I listened to his album last year. I still don't feel none. I think that that's what it was called. It's pretty mediocre. I didn't. I really didn't like it. I I didn't think it was that great. But um, I I think his his label is really pushing him. I know Yo Gotti gave him a big deal. So I think his label is really going to push him on here, especially with all, all the, the big features he's or features for big artists he's done. The the record label, he's got a song with Yo Gotti as well. So I think he'll he'll end up on here. Number eight, Tyler Yahweh. Tyler Yahweh is kind of a unique one because he's not huge and he hasn't dropped an album in two years. Um, he dropped an album in 2019, I know that. I think 10 or 11 tracks on there. And then last year he dropped three big singles. I mean, big... By um, he has three, um, he has features on all three of them, and they're all big features. He he first dropped Tommy Lee with Post Malone, which charted on Billboard. It hit the radio. It charted on Billboard for I think one or two weeks. I think that was a great song. Tommy Lee was a great summer song last year, dropped in June with Post Malone. Um, even outside of just the Post Malone performance, I think Tom, uh, I think uh, Taylor Yahweh did great as well, and they actually did a remix with Tommy Lee for that song. So that was pretty big as well. And then he also dropped Stunting On You with the baby, which was on the radio. It was pushed onto the radio. I think they paid for it to go on the radio because besides of the radio, it did not do uh, great. I think it could have done better. And then he also dropped another one titled All the Smoke with Gunna and Wiz Khalifa. So those are some pretty big features. Gunna, Wiz Khalifa, the baby, and Post Malone. Some pretty big features. He was also pushed onto the radio. So I don't, I'm confused on why he hasn't dropped an album yet. I, I figured. Since he dropped Tommy Lee last summer, I thought he'd drop an album uh, last summer or in the fall, maybe, or even in the winter. But now we're, it's almost a year since he dropped Tommy Lee. So I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he'll make the list and then drop it after. That would be a good idea, in my opinion, drop a couple more singles. But um, Something I Knew, I think, is a good song. I have not heard All the Smoke, but I do love Tommy Lee, that song. And I still have to listen to his album from a couple years ago. But I think Tyler Yahweh is a pretty underrated artist. I think he should be on here. Not so popular. But I think he's a good artist and has a decent size following. Moving on to the next one. Number 9, 42 Doug. I don't love 42 Doug. I listened to both of his mixtapes last year. Um, 
I didn't like him. I don't. I don't, I don't like his voice. I think he sounded too much like Kodak Black. That's just my opinion. I didn't like Grace when I first heard My Turn last year. Still don't like it to this day. But I also really. Uh, we paid is okay. I really, I don't love it. I don't, I don't like it that much. However, I I didn't like it at first, but it it grew it grew on me a little bit for sure. But uh, it's all right. He he's on Little Baby's uh, record label 4PF, so he's gotten that big push. He doesn't have a big song outside of um, Grace and We Paid, which are Little Baby's songs. But um, I think he's starting to get a decent sized following with the music he he's dropped so far. I would expect him to drop an album uh, or two albums this year to try and really um, create a fan base, and I think this list could help him as well. I think the, the, the label will definitely try and get him on here. The last one, I think, is one that Double XL will, will put on the list as the, the drill artist. I think the next few years or in the future, they will, there will be one drill artist on, on the cover, if not two, um, and this artist could be replaced with a different drill artist. But this is the one I think will make it, that artist being CJ, who had the huge song Whoop Dee, which charted in, in the top 10 on Billboard. It's still charting right now. It's been huge for months. He also dropped his EP, 8-track EP, with the, with the other single, Bop. Whoop Dee, though, was, however, his first song on all streaming platforms. He had a couple other ones, and also a 6ix9ine feature on, on YouTube. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of CJ, however... But uh, I think Double XL likes him. I um because the the tenth spot voting Chef G was not there, but CJ was. So I I can picture CJ making the list because of that. And yeah, I just CJ number ten. I think he will make. I think Double XL will we'll pick him as the drill artist. So going over the list one more time, the locks being the Kid Leroy, Ian Dior, Pusha T, and Coyle Ray, and possibly Flo Millie, and then. The wild cards that could be interchanged, but I think have a good chance to make it, and I have them on my list. Tusi, ESTG, Tyler Yahweh, 42 Doug, and CJ. Now I have six honorable mentions that I think could make it or could be on next year. A few of them I think could definitely be on next year, but you could make a case for this year. Um, one of them being Chef G, who could be replace, who could replace CJ. I'd be fine with that. Um, DDG, who. I didn't even know was a YouTuber until a couple months ago. Um, he was a YouTuber turned rapper, and he's got a huge song now. It charted on Billboard, Moonwalking in Calabasas. Um, he had the remixes as well with Blueface. I don't know how he got Blueface on there, but I, I, I haven't heard that remix, so maybe Blueface did good. But DDG has has um, gotten a, a decent following. Could be on the list. Um, not sure. I don't have him on my, my list, however. Another one who I think could be on... Next year, uh, probably is Moray. I don't know much about Moray. I know his his song Quicksand charted on Billboard, and he really is starting to get a buzz. He is a Rod Wave like rapper, so I think Double XL might, might put him on because of that. Maybe if they do an eleventh or twelfth, uh, if uh, if they do um, eleven or twelve rappers, he could be the one. If if I was gonna make make it eleven instead of ten, I'd put him on there for sure. I think he's got a bright future. And some, some decent songs, but Moray, an uh, honorable mention. Young Blue I have on here as well as an, an honorable mention, solely because of the Drake fe feature. Um, I've only heard that one song from him. It's it's really an R&B song, though, however. Um, it's, it's it's an R&B song. I don't know if he's really a rapper, but I've got him as an honorable mention. We'll see. Uh, if, if he ends up on the list, I kind of doubt it. Um, another one, The Holiday. The Holiday is being pushed by Lyrical Lemonade. I think he could make it. Next year, most likely, or the year after. I think a year from now or two years from now, he could blow up even more. But if Double XL was the way it should be, then he could be. He should be on this year, even though he's probably not going to be because I think he's got a lot of potential. I think he's good. Not great. I've heard some stuff from him. Good. Not great. A lot of potential, however. And he's getting a huge push from, from Lyrical Lemonade and from his label. The last honorable mention I have is Fredo Bang. I know he's dropped a few projects. He just recently dropped a 25 track project, which I'm currently listening to. I'm 10 tracks in, and it's it's pretty good so far uh, on, on, the, on the 10 tracks. And I hear a lot of influence from Youngboy on there. Uh, Fredo Bang, he's got the, the top song remix with Lil Durk. I love that song. The production from the second that starts is great. The production... The delivery and flow from Fredo Bang, the Little Dirk verse, 
great song. I, I, I love that song. I might even drop a video on that album soon, a, a review. But honorable mentions, Chef G, DDG, The Holiday, Fredo Bang, Moray, and Young Blue. Um, honorable mentions. Now, going on to the ciphers. So the ciphers for the XXL freshman. I've got them into three groups. One group of four and two groups of three. The first one being more of the melodic group with the Kid Leroy, Ian Dior, Tusi, and Coil Array. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. Coil Array is a melodic artist, but also not at the same time. I, I know she does. She does a, a little bit of everything, but I know she can definitely be melodic, like on the song No More Parties. And the, the Genius Live performance for that song was actually very, very good. But um, Coil, Coil Array, the Kid Leroy, Ian Dior, Tusi. I know Tusi is a very, very melodic artist. Uh, I heard I heard that on his album last year. Ian Dior is almost a, almost a pop star, and the same thing with the Kid Leroy. If you turn on a pop station on Pandora, Ian Dior and the, and the Kid Leroy will show up on there. Uh, but the Kid Leroy, Ian Dior, Tuzi, and Kid Leroy for the melodic um, group cipher. I think that that could be a pretty good cipher, especially with Ian Dior and the Kid Leroy in there. Tuzi could do pretty good as well. Group number two, kind of the um, drill scene or the drill um, cypher, I want to say. Flo Millie, CJ, and Pooh Pooh T is not as drill as someone like CJ or maybe Chef G, but Pooh T would definitely fit into this group, no doubt, with that style he has. CJ, a drill artist, and then Flo Millie. Haven't heard much from her, but I know she's more of an aggressive rap artist. I know she can rap, so Flo Millie, CJ, and then Pooh T. The, la the last group being... Um, Kind of just a wild card group, not really just or not really a uh, melodic or drill kind of like in between. I think there's potential in this group. Forty Two Doug, ESTG, and Tyler Yahweh. I would be excited to to hear what Forty Two Doug and Tyler Yahweh could do in a cipher, um, in a, a freestyle as well. But Forty Two Doug, ESTG, and Tyler Yahweh in the third group. So the first group, the Kid Leroy, Ian Dior, Tusi, Coil Ray. Second one. Flo Millie, CJ, and Pooh Shicey, and number three, 42 Doug, ESTG, and Tyler Yahweh. Um, that will be it uh, for this video. The, um, I'm looking forward to the 2021 XXL freshman list. Um, I, I'm always excited to see what's on there. I'll definitely drop a uh, reaction to it, a reaction to that, and then probably the ciphers and the freestyles as well. Maybe even some more videos coming soon on the XXL freshman list. Maybe to the uh, pitches, when the pitches drop. Maybe I'll react to some of those. And then um, I've also got some XXL lists coming out soon. Well, some uh, like videos on the past lists. I've, I want to do it on 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, and then last year as well, 2020. Um, definitely looking forward to those. But this one should be edited and up soon. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.